Hello! It's been a very long time since I last filmed anything. I have had this house for a year now, on the 22nd of March. I just want to take you around and show you the work we've actually done. I'll just remind you what it actually looked like. So as you walked in, of course, there were some original features, but everywhere had floorboards, basically gutted out for us. So there were no carpets. All we had to do was strip some wallpaper and then obviously ply some floors and stuff, rip the kitchen out. That It took around eight months to actually move in. So we had some issues with the roof and then other than that, we actually just did some cosmetic things like decorative, new doors, um, external doors new kitchen, new bathroom and so on. I'm just going to be taking you around now and showing you what has been done. Of course, we still haven't finished. We still have a lot of little bits to do, like decorative things. Hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I also have all the renovation videos. I'll link them down below. I have about 12 maybe i'll leave those down below for you to just have a nosy because i love renovation videos i'll stop blabbing on like i usually do and i'll show you the house okay so as you walk in this is the current situation we've had a new door and it's like a dark gray on the outside this bookcase is here temporarily just to keep our keys and shoes um, we are waiting for a radiator cover. We have just a mirror from the Elm. And we have these new light fixtures from Ikea. They're both matching now. So these are from Total Tiles. And um, we had a bit of a botch job from the tiler. So my dad had to fix around the edges and stuff here. We've had the piping boxed up here. And then we have this electric box. And uh, that's the hallway so the first room to the right is the living room and it had like this red flower wallpaper so we stripped that and just did white all around it's white around the house basically we have this armchair and sofa that we had already and this is the new addition that's from the rain we also have this apothecary coffee table which was from facebook marketplace and then we have like the original fireplace, which is not being removed, but it isn't working. So we have this electric fire here. Eventually we'll need like three large frames up here. And I'm thinking of doing like a mountain um, landscape thing in the three frames. I'm happy with it so far. It just needs a little, well, more um decorative pieces i think okay, so through to the next room we have the dining room and i think it's my favorite i'm not sure <laughs> we just have radiators all radiators are new in the house uh we went for this flooring from b q it's just laminate and, and then we have an ikea rug ikea chairs these are like tub chairs um we got the table from facebook marketplace it just we wanted quite a big one and then we have this runner from next this is an original cabinet so we just painted it um and we, then we just have a few things on top of here we have this print that, that i got as a present from my brother and the color on the wall is cadet song by valspa I just knew I wanted like a feature wall in the dining room and I'm so glad I did. It was originally chrome and I spray painted it gold, of course, to match the decor. And then we have this mid-century sideboard that we also got from Facebook. Ignore the boxes underneath, please. So this needs a bit of work, to be honest. It's a bit grubby, but we got it for nothing really so we do have a treadmill in this room um because i insisted these are some art from a local artist 
So we hung those up, just the blue tied in nicely. And then over on this side, we have a piano. This was my great grandmother's piano, I think. This chair is not staying. I want to paint it black and put it in the attic. The piano, which is out of tune, so I won't play anything. What I did, like a cute little print, was um, print out piano chords of our favorite songs and just put it up here. Overall, I think it's my favorite. Okay, so moving along to the hallway, the originally had a panel here the same as these um, and access through the kitchen to the pantry we changed that and we decided to have access from the hallway of course we need to like fill some cracks some holes paint it and stuff but that's to come it's not like the tidiest thing in the world just have like this bar cart that holds all the jars we have these drawers that hold all like our soups, sauces, rice at the bottom. And then we have these from Ikea, which are really handy. And just loads of storage boxes. And I, I'm i pretty happy with it. It's just that I think we need a bit more storage boxes and stuff to hide more things. Okay, so we didn't have a door before. So we got this from our carpenter for free. And I just painted it white and I just love that it's a glass panel to the kitchen. Just give a quick pan around. Pantry entrance, please excuse us. The pantry entrance was here, so you would access it that way. Um, but we needed to fit this somewhere. And then we have our cabinets, which are from Ikea and this like concrete look laminate worktop ikea these tiles are from wallsonfloors.co.uk my dad once again had to trim around the edges and sort around these sockets and stuff it was just a mess so i'm very thankful that he could do that range and the hood so that's from Curry's, I think. Oh, that's from Curry's and that's from Argos. I have these cute little tea sugar coffees. These are from Matalan. And then I did this myself. I just printed a print off Pinterest and put it in a frame. And then I just love these shelves that my dad put up for us. Um, and I just have some cookbooks and stuff on there. Oh, and the car key. But overall, I'm really happy with the kitchen. Um, the floor are vinyl luxury tiles, and those were from UK Flooring Direct. All the sockets are black as well. And those from were from our electrician, and I think they were from Screwfix. I just need like a little rug for here. Um, and that's it basically. So as you come this way, this is the boiler room. Oh, this needs painting. This needs a lot of work, but we've just abandoned it for now. I actually had a new boiler. This is like the cleaning cupboard situation. Um, this goes through to the downstairs toilet. So I'll just turn around quickly. So this is where I keep hoovers, brushes, and like cleaning products in there. I want my dad to like put something up for me, maybe here, so I can hang all of those instead of them just being there like that. Yeah, going through now into the utility room. Please excuse this as in we need a shed or something outside for Emir's things. But for now, this is the shed. We're thankful that we have a downstairs toilet. We actually just used the one that was upstairs and gave it a good clean and stuff, so that's fine. I have a tumble and washer here. Oh, this is the damp pack, so we need to sort that out. So hopefully we can get a shed this summer. So I'll just move around here. Um, we have like this little cubby, which I want a door for, and then I can keep a load more cleaning products in there. We have this Danelle mirror, the same as the hallway. And then we have like this cloakroom sink situation. That is potentially the wallpaper I was gonna choose just for this wall. 
So let me know what you think. So I like it with the black and the wood and yeah, I don't know. So we'll just go upstairs. So we had this mirror put up here and then we have this Velux that was a tiny one, but we replaced it with a bigger one. And in the video, there used to be a room here and then the bathroom here. So we've knocked through and it's just one big bathroom now. So this is the bathroom. So we have the exact same mirror here and here. So this is the floor. It's like a lino vinyl thing. And then we have our his and her sink here, which is great, loads of storage. Um, that was from Victoria Plum. Exciting, the toilet. And then a freestanding bath, uh, which was from Victoria Plumbing. We have these prints that I did. And then we have this bookcase to hold our towels and toilet paper and the plants. And then around here, we have the shower with the plants as well. And eventually I want like black shelves to hold our products because they're just on the floor at the moment. Yeah, that's the bathroom. Um, I actually have this like wicker mirror to put up here, but I need my dad to put it for us. That will tie it in nicely. So just looking down the stairs, we have this print that my dad put up for us. We go through right to the bedroom. We have our dressing table desk situation, which is temporary. The office space will go up in the attic eventually. Go around this side. We have the IKEA mom drawer set, and we just have our TV up there. We do have two large IKEA wardrobes, which is great. Loads of space for our clothes. And then go round over to the bed. This bedding is from Primark. And then we just have these bedside tables, which were from eBay. And of course, a load of coats on the back of the door. So that's our bedroom. Of course, we need like a print up here. I think something up here as well. And then I need to like put that up here, I think. Okay, so this is a spare bedroom. Um, this is what is going in the bathroom. It's massive. So this is where I dry and iron the clothes. Um, so it's like a laundry room slash spare bedroom. But what I usually do is just hide all of those in the corner and then people can hang their stuff up here, swing around. So I've got another ottoman here. So handy. I eventually want like a mirror up there. That goes to the bathroom. These needs to go to the tip. And then I have this wardrobe with all of my like summer clothes up there. And then we have our Christmas decorations and coats in this wardrobe. Um, these need to go in the attic and then move around. And we just have the bed. Eventually I wanna do it like a proper guest bedroom. So have like a headboard, two matching side tables, um, two matching lamps and new bedding and stuff. But at the moment, it's perfectly fine for when people stay over. So up to the attic, we actually haven't done nothing to the stairs. It's just bare, we haven't got anything here. It's just carpeted. See that damp still comes through these walls. Emir set up his TV. We're gonna have a sofa here. An armchair maybe. He has his dartboard up, of course. And then the desk area will potentially go here. And then we're actually wanting like wardrobes for this space. So we can literally store everything that we don't want downstairs here. So it's a very, very large space. We actually painted these beams black. Of course, the ceiling is a bit wobbly, so the paint looks wobbly, but we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> and then we had these lights from Dunelm, which of course like blend into the beams. We painted the banister black as well. You want a um, like flat pack sofa because nothing will be able to come up the stairs here. We had this Velux put in because it was only 
a small one before. So we had a, a lovely big one up here. I'm really happy with it so far. But like you saw, it just needs a few more things. But of course, we live here now. Do it in our own time. Just a few little bits. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.